It is my pleasure to be with you all here today, and thank you, Will, so much for this opportunity to provide a few remarks with you. Um, as you have already heard probably many times this morning, the President and First Lady did uh, reignite the Kansas Moonshot uh, a year ago uh, and set two new ambitious goals. The first is to decrease the number of cancer deaths by 50% over the next 25 years. And the second, as Will mentioned earlier, is to improve the experience of people living with and surviving cancer. And to do so, they are calling on everyone to do their part, including federal agencies, uh, private companies, healthcare providers, patient groups, philanthropies, and so much more. And it's not just here in the U.S., but across the globe. It's why the ambitions of the Cancer Moonshot now extend far beyond our own borders, especially as the burden of cancer falls heavily to lower and middle income countries. And looking around this room today, because I was just reflecting on the train ride up here that a year ago uh, at the Global Health Catalyst Summit in DC was where we first publicly committed to taking the Cancer Moonshot Global. <coughs> Seeing all of you here, seeing so many people that we have now engaged with, sharing your progress, your ideas, your actions, sharing your time, seeing your passion and your dedication, it's a reminder of just how this community has really rallied behind the President's call to action. And it's why the Kansas Moonshot has broadened our scope internationally. And our work is to focus on equity and collaboration again uh, a hot word today, thereby increasing access to prevention, screening, treatment, and care for everyone around the world facing a cancer diagnosis. And we've already made great strides. At the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit event hosted by the President this December, the First Lady announced by the Cancer Moonshot uh, $300 million of uh, commitments from both the U.S. government and from the private sector partner partners. These efforts, some of them you will hear from now, include strengthening the public health infrastructure, building resilient health systems, investing in health workers, as well as funding for robust and impactful initiatives across the African continent on cancer prevention, screening, treatment, and research. If there was any doubt that we can make a significant difference in the lives of cancer patients across the globe, or reach audacious goals like eliminating cervical cancer in our lifetime, then these examples of commitments that were made and that you will hear from in just a moment should put to rest any of them. Because if there's one thing that we have heard very loud and clear this past year, it is that together we can make a difference. And so I'm very excited now to welcome Jennifer Dent to the stage as we will hear from a number of these commitments and the progress they are delivering. Jennifer, over to you.